Hi everybody, Pat Huntoon here with Technique Junkies and today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful background just with a couple of inks and um, we're going to be topping off our background with the Inside Out I Love Snow set which is the inside and outside for all of these stamps that are snarky and snow filled. So this time we're going to be using um, want to know the best thing about winter and when it's over. So I'm going to set that aside and what we're going to be doing is adhering this which is the 019224 snowflake net from a colorful life designs to our cardstock and I'm using a medium uh, blue green I guess. Um, it's pretty close to the color of speckled egg which is the, one of the colors we're going to be putting on here but you'll see that it really does show so what I want to do is I can use pixie spray on this but if you do not have pixie spray just that you just tape this down to your work surface nice and firmly and then I am going to use one brush this is just a regular blending brush and we're starting with the speckled egg and because I think I want to I would like to stamp my sentiment in this corner I'm going to make sure that I use speckle edge speckled egg on that section so you can see it's just a tiny bit darker than the cardstock but when I lift this up it makes a big difference so I'm gonna miss that corner a little bit and I'm putting this on rather randomly other than the actual plan of where I'm going to be stamping. Broken China Distress Oxide. And all I'm doing with this one is going right back over and I'm not even bothering to clean it off because the colors will work together very nicely. We have gone through this whole thing, some areas a little lighter, some a little darker, and now we're going to lift this off. And look how pretty that background is, it's just plain old pretty. But I can't leave anything the way it is, so we're going to add some sparkle to it. And what we're going to be using is Dazzle, which is a Shimmering Bliss by Technique Junkies. So it's Shimmering Bliss Dazzle, and what this is is a topper. I, I, we use the toppers to add some shimmer to things that don't naturally have shimmer to them. So obviously distress oxides don't. But because it's a dress, uh, distress oxide and they are water reactive, you do have to be a little careful that you don't overload it. Otherwise that those inks might run a little bit. So what you want to do is just do a nice little couple, three, four, I think I did four sprays there. And you can see even before it dries how shimmery and pretty that is with that dazzle on there. It is just adds that little bit of extra. Now I'm just going to wipe up a little bit and allow this to dry. Maybe hit it with my heat tool and I'll come back to you when it's dry. Okay, so I could leave this like this before I put my sentiment on there. But what I'm going to do is actually just add a little ink around the edges here. And then I will put my sentiment in my stamp positioner. Stamp this, mount it, and stamp the inside, and we will be done with this card. Okay, so I now I've placed my piece of paper into my stamp positioner. I have my stamp in the position I believe I want it in. I used the lines on the positioner to make sure that I was all lined up, and I am using Memento Nautical Blue because I wanted a darker blue. I wanted more contrast and I like Memento for sentiments, especially sentiments that are fine like this because because the ink pad is firmer and it's not a squishy foam pad, it does so much better with small, um, with set of fine line sentiments because you don't get pooling around the lines, which is what causes shadows. So, okay, that went once and it's not dark enough. So I'm gonna add a little bit more to it. And I'm being really conservative about, about how much ink I'm adding, so I'm going to add a little bit more. And again, you want to watch that and to make sure that there's no pooling of ink around the letters because that's what gives you a very sloppy inking or sloppy stamping. So I'm going to press that down. And that is done. We're going to be placing this piece of cardstock, which I have already cut down. So that's all mounted. So now I'm just taking a white card base and I'm going to put 
the when it's over stamp into my misty. I'm going to add some snowflakes to this. So I'm going to line up the when it's over, and I'm going to be using the Technic Junkie small snowflakes. I don't know if I showed you the set. This is a snarky set. It's from our Inside Out series. This is our newest Inside Out. I love snow. And it has an inside and an out, outside and an inside um, to um, snarky, funny sayings. And that's what I'm using for this. And I'm going to be placing these here and then I will check my placement. And then using the same nautical blue ink go on the inside of the cardstock. A pretty colorful top put on it. That, my friends, is a beautiful snow let nut card with a fun sentiment on the inside that only takes minutes to make and is shimmery and pretty and colorful. I hope you liked our tutorial today. If you did, please give us a thumbs up on YouTube and consider subscribing to the Technique Junkies YouTube channel. I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching today.